just make a wish, make it happen. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I'm doing okay. We're going to try and finish this elk ivory that I started the other day and then I lost the ivory and I think one of the dogs picked it up and took it out to the yard. So it's okay. I have more ivories that we're going to work on. So without further ado, we'll get over to this other camera and rock and roll. Roll on your Sunday afternoon at WBOCCKTTYFZTV, whatever that is. Okay, so let me catch you up. Um, this is our elk ivory here. And what I did is I took a piece of paper, out of the way, just took a piece of paper, and I wrapped it around like this, and marked it. Then I laid it down on my silver, where my silver is. Yeah, I don't have any more silver. Anyway, uh, here we go. Laid it down on my silver and marked it. I determined how tall I wanted it to be and cut it. Then I annealed it so that I could actually bend it around, make it a little bit easier to, to bend around. And then I started shaping it to uh, to fit the uh, elk ivory. So that's where we're at. Hey Joyce, how you doing? So there's where we're at right now. I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit more. Get this to fit in there a little bit better. Let's see, what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? Let's see if we can't get this. Opened up a little bit better. And that's just, this is just a matter of trial and error of getting it to where it's going to slide in there and fit good. And uh, you can also put it on the, on the grinder and grind it down a little bit. I think that's uh, that's going to be where it's going to sit. So, and then what we might do is uh, just take it and close it down just a little bit. Okay. Hey, Kristen, how are you doing today? You want to come in and chat with me so I'm not just talking to myself here? <laughs> Let's see, let me put this in the, come on, there it is. There you go. So anybody that wants to come on in, come on in. 
The water's fine. Fine as frog hair. All right. So that's where we're at. Got you caught up. And I think um, that I might do, oh, sick with bronchitis. No. Poop. Okay. That's all right. Um, let's see. I need to sign this thing someplace, so I think I'll sign it on the top. How about that? Because I forgot to sign it <coughs> on that other part. It's been a while since I've done this. <coughs> Just taking a piece of scrap that's big enough for the top, so I think that's going to work. Let's see. No, if I should have gone down that way. Okay, all right, we can do this. get to put the cap on this thing and it gets clogged up. Solder here. And that's a pretty good picture, isn't it? I just noticed that. Willow. Hang on for just a second, Will. Well, I'll get you in now. I'll just, I'm not too far along there. Let's see, where are we? There we go. Hello. How you doing? How are you doing? 
pretty good. Good. Thank you for coming in. No problem. I just seen that you were on. I'd sat down to take a break. I've been working on the house. Fun. <laughs> oh yeah, oodles. But I'm just glad to be able to again. Yeah. So. So your procedures were positive. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not 100, percent but it's a good 50 to 75 varies oh, from day to day. Shoot. I'll take, take it. Take that any day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. That's great. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hello, Joyce. Hello, Kristen. Oh, yeah. Kristen's got bronchitis. Ugh. Poor girl. That's well, she was working the poles for, you know, a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And all those people coming in there and, you know, and Denver and cold and yeah germs just germs just germs yeah all right that's all right so this so the boys are over at Doug and Cheryl's Mm -hmm. My boys, because uh, Marva is coming into heat and Shikapu is coming into heat. Oh, yeah. So we don't want any of that brother sister, <laughs> mother yeah. son breedings. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Kent has a boy. That's unrelated to Marva, so I think we're going to breed her to him uh -huh. and have puppies probably for the last time. But you know, they always bring joy to the house, so mm -hmm. we can <laughs> we can use some of that right now. Yeah, joy and a mild level of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my three uh, go in in five days on the 18th oh, to okay. get fixed. So, I'm a show. Happy Sunday to you. I had to think for a minute what day it was. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you were going to say because Veterans Day passed, so... Yeah. I was like, oh, was there another holiday today? Just a split second of, uh. Yeah. Hello, Beth. Welcome. We will ask her as soon as she gets back from the buffer, Beth. I was curious too, but I kind of just got here as well, so I hadn't got to the question yet, but we'll ask her. Beth Collins has joined us. Hi, Beth. Happy Sunday. And she is asking, where did you find the piece of elk? Um, it's an elk ivory, which is their, they call them buglers. It's the, the two teeth in their, their mouth that are actually ivory. So the hunters always pull these out as a trophy and so no she says that you lost it yesterday and she was wondering where you oh, found oh, it oh oh i'm sorry i misunderstood i let you explain though because i didn't know what it was so oh okay <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, no, uh, Gage came out here and he moved everything and looked around, could not find it. We deduced that one of the uh, fur babies grabbed it and took it outside. So fortunately I had more. So I just grabbed another one and that's what we're working on now. Yeah. And I got my stamp and sterling on there. Cool. So we made it. Yeah, nip that question in the bud. Because <laughs> you know somebody's going to ask. Yes. Well, Mary's not in here yet, so we'll have to probably say it again. And I think I'm going to try and do another sandy cliff um, today because I'm feeling spunky. Spunky! Beth says if you look at the video, uh, she did see one of them grab it. Oh, okay. It was um, probably Peanut. Yeah, Peanut or Rody, unless Rody's mellowed. But we did find, we, I had Gage take the, the crates um, out and empty the crates and we did found, find three stones in the crates so that was good but <laughs> we yeah, we on <laughs> okay so at this point guys we need to figure out what kind of a design <clears throat> if we were going to stamp it we would have stamped it before we bent it and i didn't think of it so we're here now and i'm thinking of putting just a nice little piece of uh, coral on there and maybe a little bit of uh, maybe a, a leaf or something i like that idea so i think that's the direction we're going to go in sounds that. good to me so And um, actually, this would be the same kind of process that they would do on those um, Bic lighter um, cases. Cases. Yeah. It's the same thing. Um, yeah, I remember those. I've actually had a few of them over the years. There she is. Hello. Hello. Hey, Willow. Welcome, honey. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey, everybody. Uh, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. We were just talking about that the, this is the same process that you use to make one of those big lighter uh, cases. Oh, okay. Um, pretty much the same thing. So we're just going to put a piece of coral and maybe a leaf or got to put some balls on it, you know. I mean, Let me Michelle. Got to have the balls. Yeah, it's my. <laughs> My piece got to put balls on it. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us do. Yeah. So, and then I want to make a, a sandy cliff with a um, piece of labradorite and opal. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nice clean com combination. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. I saw it laying on the bench and I thought, hmm, I think you two go together. So Yep. Yeah, they met there for a reason. 
Yeah, it's just amazing how you can plop a couple of stones on the table and suddenly serendipity happens. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It just comes together in my head and seems to work out. Yeah. Is Tatum home? Yeah. Oh, how did that go? <laughs> oh, they had a great time. It was just him and his mom. When he came home. Oh, yeah. He got his... Oh, yeah. He was excited. Very, very excited. And it's blue. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Oh, yeah. You know he'd been on that thing all day. Yeah. Since he got it. And got it set up. I can't believe I just. Huh? Sorry, I'll shut up. That bezel. Ah. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, so we'll try it again. What? Peanut? What's your problem? Uh, 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 I hear. Yeah. Same here. Uh, what? She sounds like our Olivia. Miles and Olivia both are very vocal. Goodness. Jazzy, she just squeaks. Last night, she just barked and barked and barked at nothing that I could see. And um, I don't know, I don't know what her problem is today, but she needs to get over it. She ain't had no sleep. <laughs> yeah, really. Jeez. I finally had to shut the door between the hot tub room and the and the bedroom. Because all she was doing wouldn't shut up. Huh. I don't know, maybe we got ghosts or something out here wandering around. I don't know. Be hard to say. Could have just been like a raccoon or a possum wandering around in the yard, too, that they saw and set them off. Yeah. Well, it'd be hard for that to get into the yard because I've got a six-foot fence around where the dogs are. Uh -huh. So, and then I've got a tarp on the uh, fence so they can't see out, bark, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, bark at every little thing under the sun. Yeah, every blade of grass that moves. Like mine, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Be hard to say then. I know when Sarah was still with us, a skunk would get hit out on the highway. Uh huh. And she'd start barking because she could smell it. She didn't have to see it. I don't even think she knew what they looked like. Yeah. But she'd smell it, and boy, she was just totally indignant about that. She'd make sure you knew it too. All right. That was a little. Yep. Basically, if she was barking. We knew to go check. If she was barking and sneezing, we knew it was a skunk. Because <laughs> she'd bark and then she'd take her head and do the sneeze sound. Yeah. Like, I'll get that out of my nose. My olfactory can't handle it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we want to do here with this. Put that on there. And what have we got laying on here? Oh, we got one of those little paw print hearts. I wonder if we could fit that on there. 
Well, it fit. All right, that way you don't look good. Let's see. Yeah, that way you don't look good. That's too much. Yeah. 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 Okay. How about... Yeah, but like that. Didn't know leaves had balls, but hey, who knew? Yeah. Learn something new every day. Like my shop, everything has balls. <laughs> All right, I need to take that off of. That. Yeah, but I like it there. I don't want to let go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see you're separating it from a base. Yeah, I just cut it off of another piece that I did. Yeah. Yeah, a little salvage piece. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, off there. Come on. Shake them balls. There we go. Good job. That'll work. Scrap. Fiery hot scrap. Yeah. This put her sweater on. I'm about to turn the fan on. Oh, uh, she's going to sweep the porch. The deck or whatever you want to call it. I almost touched that one <laughs> and caught myself before I did. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank you. Oops. Oh, I've done that before, you know, where I've had a hot piece and tried to pick it up with my bare hands. Uh huh. That's called you get to going faster than your brain is going, and it doesn't work very good. <laughs> yeah, faster than common sense can set up the warning bells. Yeah. This is sweeping leaves out of the, the gap between the deck and the trailer. Uh, and, uh, it's making little thumping noises. And, you know, Miles is up on the back of the room, right there by the door with eyes like the size of saucers. <laughs> like, what is she doing? Yeah, about the time you sent me the link my dad came over <laughs> oh okay that's why i didn't pop on only and said to me i said my dad's here <laughs> okay. 
I just happened to, I stepped away because I was, you know, working on the house and came to take a break and the little notification just happened to be up. And I, came <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, that's a good place to hang out for a few. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get high in the chat. I just popped in. Did you, um, did you get some rest last night? Do you? Yeah. A little bit. Not, not a whole lot. I didn't think so. Me either. Real <laughs> antsy. I don't know why, but. Mm. Well, you should have called me back. I was awake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go back to sleep. <laughs> okay. I don't sleep real good when they're not here anyway. It is cold. Yeah, it's pretty cold here, too. The temperatures finally dropped and are staying there. And then they get worse in a few days. Because we have snow and, uh, you know, the lows are going to become the highs. And our lows have been 20s and uh, teens. So... Okay, I'm in Georgia, and we don't get that cold. Scared <laughs> <laughs> not that <thank> God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Look. Yeah, but it's Thursday or Friday. We're supposed to get snow. <laughs> I don't know what, how many inches is projected or anything yet. A little, a little too soon, I think, for him to judge that. But we had a very <laughs> high likelihood of actually happening. So. Well, I wasn't too bad late. I was late, but not too, too bad. Thank goodness. I didn't miss too much. No, no you didn't. Good. Oh, no. It's um, it's a bezel for elk ivory, Mary. But yes, she said earlier that it's the same technique that you would use to make a big ladder case. <laughs> hey, Mary. And hello, dear. <laughs> and yes, she stamped it. Just putting that out there. But anyways, Sandy, Mary Peltier has joined us. Hi, Mary. Or, excuse me, Peltier. 
Every once in a while, I brain fart that. I usually get it right. So we got that. Now we just need to put a nail or something on the top here. Okay. And let's see, what do I want to do for that? Bless you. Let you get up your nose. It's not done something about me. She's working on the bail now. Sally. Ooh, yikes, Mary. She says, great to see y'all on this fine Sunday. Just got through sorting out a bunch of broken canning jars. A FedEx. FedEx had a mishap, I guess. Yikes. Uh-huh. Isn't some that you had on your porch and FedEx went Captain Fumble nuts on you? <laughs> Just asking. Well, if they delivered it, they sure know it was broke because it was it had to be shaky. Yeah. I ain't mean, that dumb. Yeah. Yeah, they broke it in during delivery. Uh. Yeah, they are crazy. Pain in jaws. 
Hello, Christine Rose. Welcome. Christine. Twenty four quarts. It rattled and rolled. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be easy to put a claim in and get your, um, yeah, 24 one-quart jars, yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to get them replaced here. Yeah. It's, it's a time of year you need them, you know? That's for sure. You know, usually when you order them, you know, you need them now and not, you know, however long it takes them to do a claim and get replacements ordered. I will be right back. Okay, okay. Awesome, Mary. That's great. Hallelujah. fantastic. They just kind of be like a deal with. Yeah, I'm going to Get that on the piece and it'll be good. Those are kind of surprises we like.
doing good. Without everything else falling off. Okay. <laughs> Stay there, don't touch. Good deal. Hey, I'm in the house today, too. It's cold outside. I'm back. Not all, Not all you northern people, but it's cold for Georgia. Yeah. I know you're there. I'm not going to love you too, sweetheart. It was just sitting here looking at me. I think we got it. I'm hoping we got it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Sound like it's get across the top. <laughs> yeah, I think that was sis in the kitchen. And we're good. All right. Woohoo. Awesome. Okay. That's what we'd like to hear. So, Right back because you know what you can latex. <laughs> so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, dear. I can relate, Christine. 
this is low income work and on fixed income disability. And uh, between having to have the air conditioner replaced, the outdoor unit, and uh, spaying and neutering three kitties in five days. Um, yeah, not much of a Christmas fun, but that's all right. I got decorations, we got the food, we're good. We're just happy to have an air conditioner that works because yeah this summer we definitely needed it and we'll need it again next summer and uh, i've worked with the company for many years they know i'm good for it so they're letting me make payments which is huge <laughs> and same with the vet so we're just putting down a hunk on it and then uh, we can make payments on the rest so by spring they should both be paid for i hope we're close to it and uh you know on to the next adventure okay i'm back sorry about that but <coughs> uh, welcome back here yeah. mother nature yeah that's where i went <laughs> had to grab a snack which is why Sable is sitting here staring at me. So, this is what I'm thinking of the next sandy pile. And There you go. Yeah, I like. Oh, yeah. That is Ethiopian opal and labradorite, folks. And will soon be a sandy cliff. She's in a sandy oh, cliff. Oh, yeah. I like. I like. Flash. Uh, Yep. It's got greens and red and yeah. Hold on, let's see what else I can find. It's Maybe a little bit of blue. There you go. Yep, definitely. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Very pretty. Nice shine on that. Thank you there. I like it. Yeah, that's a beautiful piece. Oh. I like it. We'll see what we can eke out of this one. I'm gonna take a break for just a couple minutes here and ponder upon this and see what I want to do with it. So, Ponder upon it. Yeah. I'll get over here where I can see you guys, maybe. Yeah, because. Okay, there we are. You tie it. There you go. There she is. Now I can see you guys. All right. So what do we want to do with this one? We outdid it with the last one. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Let's see. Gotcha. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, 
I got it. Well, I got the name. I hope it ain't kitchen. I got the name, so we'll have to live up to the name. All right. Hallelujah, Holly. Oh, that's adorable. Back up. You gonna make some little sterling holly leaves to go on her? I don't know. Just no idea. I heard, I heard "Hallelujah, Holly." So. Okay. For Christmas, I guess. We'll have to. We got some green, so I guess we're gonna have to get a little bit of red in there too. Yeah, I bet you we can do that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sweet girl. So, I'll put you back over on the other camera so you can see what's going on. Oh, goodness. It's been a while since I've made two in one day. I know. If y'all wondering, I got a headache. <laughs> That's why I look like this. And I'm kind of quiet. I got a headache. No, it's all right. Prayers that it goes away very, very, very soon. Oh, it will. It's just sinuses. No. Yeah. Still hurts, though. I had to take pain medication. Earlier, yeah, sounds like a lot. Better, but Take some yeah. more. And my middle spine feels better, but my lower spine still gets moody. Okay. So I just took some pain meds and then did the trick. Good Little deal. Problem. So we will be having the auction next Sunday at, uh, let's see, 7 o'clock Central. So you guys can figure it out from there. Mm -hmm. That's what works for Thelma, so we're going to go with that. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, she said that she wanted to have it on your channel. Yeah. Over here. Make some day, guys. Save your pennies. Oh, that's nice, Christine. Christine's been sick, too. It's and not that you see, but... I think she's going to be going on a few items also, so... Hello, Joyce. Welcome, honey. She's always got fabulous stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey, Joyce. There is some kind of crud in there, Christine, that tends to linger. Prayers you get to feeling better real soon, huh? Who's not feeling good? Christine, she's had the cred for a couple of weeks. Oh, it's not the big C, but it's just a crud. And there is a crud going around that likes to linger. Yeah. It's not really a flu, it's, you know. Just the crud. Yeah. Yeah. 
Christine get you a combo of Echinacea and Golden Seal? And if you can swing it, some Colloidal Silver. Hello, Gianna. Welcome. Hi, G. How are you doing? Why are you stuffing your paw in my ear? <laughs> so it was like trying to climb up my rib cage and mm -hmm. swacked me in the ear with her paw. What, baby girl? Yes, I know. I'll get back to work here after a bit. Okay, I'm gonna need to take a break. Yeah. Lay down. Oop, there's Denise. She fell out. Yeah. Okay. If you hear a boop, you'll know who it is. Yeah. I'll get over here. Ready for her to. Yeah, just have your mouse within reach. Boop back in. <laughs> How are you doing, Jay? You doing she okay? didn't hear Sandy. Your daughter's joined us. Yep. How are you doing, G? She says, oh, I'm all right, I guess. Well, well, that's better than not all right. That's we'll true. take it. We'll take it. you phrase that gee it sounds like you're kind of having a eeyore day well, i'm all right i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thanks for noticing me welcome back michelle Question, Mary, how is Joyce today? I hope you're doing well, dear. talking to Denise last night and <clears throat> we were looking <clears throat> through stuff and found some some pretty cool turquoise that I think I'm gonna do some stuff with here. <clears throat> yeah. It's from the seventies. It's uh, old Kingman. It's that real nice blue Mm -hmm. In blue. It's always nice to find those little treasures like that. Yeah. Well, the random treasures you forgot you had that set off your inspiration. I can't remember half the stuff that I've got. So, oh shoot! Come on. We can relate. Mm -hmm. So. Um, 
Gianna says that Lily told her to tell you to get a freaking drink of water. <clears throat> yes. All right. <laughs> You got your marching orders. Yeah. All right. I'm taking a drink right now. And a girl. Look, 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 look. All right. There we go. Mission accomplished. All better. She drowned the frog. Yep. <laughs> Christine says, I can relate. I just found yarn that I bought that I forgot that I had. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anytime I go looking for something, it's like Christmas here because I forget half the stuff I've got. Now to just find that drawer full of silver sheet and wire that you forgot yeah. you had. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wonderful. Well, that seems to be the one item that is constantly having to be replenished, you know? Yeah. And yeah, if you found a stash you forgot you had from, I don't know, stimulus days or something, you know, where you were able to load up and then just flat forgot you had it. Yeah. That would be sweet. It would be. It seems like in any craft, there's always something that you just can't seem to stash up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Jonah says, same here, Christine. I bought mini skeins three years ago and just came across them two days ago. Oh, wow. Sweet. Yeah, that, that's fun, so, you know. It is. I think the mind works that way on purpose. Yeah. You know, to give you those little, especially in hard times like we've been having. Yeah. Um, gives you those little gifts, you know, that you can creatively have an epiphany and you know, because you totally forgot what you bought it for, so, you know, so a new brainstorm hits, and... Good to distract and pass the time, you know, when you're going through hard times or, you know, just winter, you know, winter yeah, projects. That's stuff that I just absolutely had to have, and by the time it got here, I forgot what I ordered it for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like really? Jeez. But yep. Hello, Carol Ann. Welcome. Hi, Carol Ann. Christine says this yarn has a pattern with it too. And I've decided not to make the mittens, aka the pattern, and make a cowl instead. Cool. Yeah, definitely coming up on the top of the hour because the notifications are coming through one right after the other. Carol Ann, she's currently working on a sandy cliff where the head will be Ethiopian opal. And the body will be Labradorite. Yeah. 
That makes sense, Christine. She says I'm more apt to wear the cowl, not yeah. so much the mittens. Yeah. I'm kind of the opposite because I don't like stuff around my neck. It's the COPD thing. Okay. My hands, yeah, I got to keep my hands warm. Or this one hand that's got the, the two fingers that are needles all the time. No, no. I don't like the cold. They get cold and oh, Lordy Pete. Um, it is in the pot, in the pickle right now, Diana. She made such quick progress on that that she decided she wanted to start up a sandy cliff as well. She's feeling crafty today. Yeah. And I hear peanut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. That makes sense, Christine. Oh, I just got that out of the pickle. And it's looking pretty good. Sweet. Yep. Yeah, you need to adjust your light. It's glaring super bad. Yeah. We'll put it in the um, tumbler and get it polished. And... Yep, she said a piece of coral and then there's a little leaf and a, a ball on the, the front of the, the bezel for the elk ivory. You know what, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't think I got enough silver here. I think I cut myself short on that. Cut another piece. Thank you, Gianna. I had uh, notifications coming in, kept blocking my ability to hit buttons. Oh, find love in your city? Yeah, right. Yeah, if I wanted love, I could find it in my own. I don't need to go there. Thank you very much. Here, have my boot in certain places. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this will work. <laughs> Did they not fit on that one little piece you cut? No, uh, I cut myself short trying to. Just a hair snug? Yeah. yeah. It happens. Yep. When I get down to just little pieces of silver, I try to. to Use them as much as you can, and yeah, you, you start and tucking I... it a little tighter. Yeah. Making it stretch. Yep. So. Well, the smaller piece that was a little too small will be just the right size for a piece of that cumin. It's been a while too. You could always, um, you know, make some of your scrap brooches or something. Yeah. Like your scrap stash. I'll be back up a bit. Yep. Here it is. Either do that or casting. Yeah, I really want to do that uh, tufa <clears throat> stone casting. I'm just going to have to work out the logistics of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And get it done. Um, 
Why are you so clingy today? Oh my goodness. Hey, baby girl. And I think we're getting ready to, to stop because I'm going to be getting the fade. <laughs> Starting to gas out. Yeah. That's all right. Fortunately, but. There's always tomorrow. I don't know. I kind of get a second wind later on in the evening, so I may come on. Well, if you get one, you know, people will show up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm having to get used to me going out and running errands and uh, working on the house again. They've gotten so used to me just mostly sitting on my duff that she like goes into a panic if I get up and do anything. <laughs> <laughs> She'll come along. They'll adapt. By the time they get used to it, then this thing will wear off, you know, and it'll be time to go there again. Yeah. But they've kind of kind of gotten used to my roller coaster of a pain management life. So. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for me for right now. Like I said, I might come in again later on tonight. We'll see how I feel. I uh, just want to get enough stuff done for the auction next weekend. So, um, thanks guys for hanging out with me on this Sunday afternoon. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. So, Willow from Emporia, Kansas. Hi, everyone. And I'm sitting at Geezer Creek Farms in Farron, Utah. Guys, I love you and appreciate you. You are my family. And remember, don't just make a wish.